important for me to be honest. Um, when I wrote the part about the accident, I wrote and I rewrote and I wrote and I rewrote and then I sat with my son Will and we read it together three and four times to make sure that it was um, honoring to him. I told him it was important um, to not, I didn't want to sensationalize it for sensationalism, but also I didn't want to trivialize it because it cost our daughter her life and I didn't want to take away from God's glory of what he's doing through our family through this horrific thing. So when, it, when I finished it, I felt like God just released me to go, okay, this was for you. It was for you to figure out a lot of the stuff. You got a lot of these questions that where the rug got pulled out from under you, you got a lot of these questions re-answered. Now you can file that book on, on the shelf and I'll do with it what I will do. And I really just felt like it was just a, an offering of, of my story to go, you know, if this can just be helpful to one other person, then it's all good from here because, you know, my copy's written and, you know, I really felt like God met me. Mm -hmm. And um, I just really want people to know that it is a choice. It's a choice for all of us. You know, when the accident first happened in those first months, I would wake up and the first thought was, you didn't come back. That means I got to put my feet on the floor and I got to take a step. And um, it was that way for a long time. Um, and then eventually you just begin to see the beauty that comes from the um, ashes. It's hard to say. I don't want it to be that way. I mean, I lost my daughter. I have to sit here and say that there's beauty from the ashes of losing her and I have a son, you know, that is left with a story to steward. But we can't deny that God hasn't done some amazing things through her short life. Some people would say it's short. I say it was full. But, um, but you know, just that there is in any circumstance, if if you have hope, God does redeem. He does make all things new. And again, I don't have it all together. And tomorrow I might be back in the fetal position going, <laughs> did I believe what I said yesterday on, on that show? Because, you know, it's just like David in the Psalms. It's like, God, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And then the next minute he's praising the Lord and, and just, you know, it's just that's how our journey's been.